All right, guys. Hi. I know you guys actually haven't seen me before, but here's a video showing my face. So today we're going to explain how a lower unit of an outboard motor works and how it shifts. Okay. A lot of people get confused by this and it doesn't make sense to a lot of people until they can see it in something like this. So I made this quick setup. So let me explain what all the parts here and then I'm going to explain how this actually shifts in and out of reverse and neutral and into forward. So this is your drive shaft coming down. This here is your pinion gear and the pinion gear sits in between the reverse gear, which is facing the back of the boat. This is your propeller shaft. And then this is your forward gear all the way up here in the front towards the front of the boat. And in the middle, this is the device that actually is responsible for shifting your boat in and out of forward and reverse. This is called your dog clutch or your dog gear. And this dog gear slips backwards and forwards and will shift your boat into forward and reverse. The way that works is that this here piece goes in and out and this is connected to your shifting rod. This is your shifting rod. There's a diagonal cut in this rod like this. And then there's a slice in the actual shifting rod that sits into that diagonal. And when you pull your shifting rod up, it will pull this rod, or sorry, it'll push this rod in, and that will engage your dog clutch with your reverse gear. And then if you push this rod down, it will cause this to go forward, and it'll pull your dog clutch engaging into your forward gear. So let me demonstrate that real quick, right? So right now you can see that the dog clutch is sitting directly in between your forward and your reverse, sorry, your forward and your reverse gear. And if I'm doing clockwise rotation, I'm not spinning my drive shaft. Or sorry, I'm not spinning my, my propeller shaft, right? This is in neutral. Let's say you wanna shift it into forward, right? This is gonna go down and you're gonna see that dog clutch shift forward, watch. Give me a second here. There it goes. Sorry, it takes a little bit of force. So what you saw is this dog clutch now got engaged by going forward. And when I spin this, you will now see that the propeller shaft is spinning towards me, which is gonna be clockwise as well when you're facing the back of the boat. And that's gonna make the propeller spin in forward. So now we're engaged in forward, okay? And then if you were to pull up on your lever, you'll see that it engages, and it'll pull that dog clutch back into a neutral position. There we go. So now we're back in neutral. You can confirm that by seeing that the propeller shaft does not need to spin while my drive shaft spins. Lastly, if you were to pull up on this lever, watch the dog clutch again. So if I pull up on this lever, I know it's a little tight because I didn't make it a perfect model, but what you'll see is this actually goes, there you go. You'll see that dog clutch go backwards and it shifts into reverse. So now my propeller shaft is spinning towards you guys, which is counterclockwise looking at the back of the boat. So then again, you would push this slightly down and now look, we're back in neutral. So if this does not line up perfectly, what ends up happening is the teeth on this dog gear wear out the teeth on the inside of the reverse or the forward gear, whatever one you're not engaging in fully.